Hello, uh, welcome to this short video on the applications of Newton optional method. So, uh, this method is used to find roots uh, of equations and can easily be generalized to multi dimensions. Uh, the basic problem is that if you have uh, an equation of this type, uh, how do you find the value of x which satisfies this equation? So this method uh, is quadratic, uh, which means that uh, the convergence rate is quadratic. Uh, I hope you have uh, gone through the notes where you saw that uh, to solve this one dimensional equation, we can set up a recursion relation like this. Where this is the derivative of the function. So in this video, I will describe how to implement it uh, uh, in a program and also we will discuss uh, a couple of uh, applications. So this method, uh, which right now is written for one dimension, can easily be generalized to multi-dimension and it has uh, this advantage that it finds complex roots automatically. So when you have to implement this uh, in a computer program, uh, you begin by selecting an initial guess. Let's say some guess uh, xi. And uh, on that guess, you compute the value of uh, this function f of xi. And you also have to compute the derivative at, uh, uh, at this point. So derivative you can compute in several ways, but uh, let's say one of the simplest way is this uh, uh, forward difference. We add some value delta x and subtract the value of the function and divide by delta x. So now once we have uh, computed these two uh, functions, we need to check in our program. The first check is if the absolute value is of this function is already uh, less than some epsilon and if it is so you can stop right here because your guess is the solution itself and if it is not uh, we also need to check if the derivative is zero or not because if the derivative is zero we cannot proceed because we cannot compute this number if the derivative is zero you have to stop and maybe choose another guess so if both of these things uh, are not true, then you come here, you compute this xi plus 1 from this equation and then check again uh, to if, if the value of the function is uh, still less than uh, an epsilon or not and if the derivative is uh, 0 or not and then you keep going until you reach this condition that uh, the value of the function is less than a certain small epsilon and then you stop. That's how you find the solution of any equation. You can, for example, uh, for, uh, for example, you have uh, a function like uh, this. Uh, and you want to find its roots, you can do that. Uh, this is a nonlinear equation, and we can find the solutions of linear and nonlinear equations using this Newton optional method. And let me take another example, which is uh, quite interesting in its own right. And that is uh, what if you want to find the nth root of some number? Suppose you have some number a and you want to find its nth root. But this problem is uh, has uh, has a lot of applications because when you let's say compute uh, fractional powers of some numbers, uh, to do this you need to find uh, a value like this because this can be written as 10 power 22 over 10 it can be written as 10 power 22 into 10 power 1 over 10. So this we know how to do because uh, we can multiply 10 22 times and we get this number. But this is something that we have to approximate using some algorithm. 
So the, and this number uh, 10 can be any other number also because you might have to find let's say 3.3 uh, power 3.3 uh, and so on. So uh, to compute these fractional powers the basic thing that we have to compute is uh, nth root of the number like this. And suppose this number is some x. Let's see how we can find this x, not exactly but approximately for any number a. So let's begin by setting up our f of x as x minus a power 1 over n and its derivative would be so instead of finding its derivative because uh, we will need a power 1 over n to compute this thing right here so that will defeat the purpose so instead of doing this what we can do is have this go like this because if x is equal to a power 1 over n x power n is a so it means we can set up a function x power n minus a like this and now our job is to find the root of this equation which we can do using Newton option so for that let's compute its derivative which is n x power n minus 1 and now I can set up the this iteration equation like this x i plus 1 is x i minus x n over a over n x n minus 1 and here this is ith value of x which can be written as x i minus 1 over n x i plus a over n 1 over x i power minus 1. So to find the nth root of a we have this iterative equation so we can start with some guess value let's say the guess can be a itself so a our a is our initial guess so we put uh, that initial guess here compute the next value and check if this f of x is smaller than some tolerance value or not if not we substitute this x in here and then we successively keep on approximating uh, a better and better value of x which will satisfy this equation which will essentially be the nth root of this number a. So using neutral option we can set up several of these uh, types of problems uh, very easily. Thank you.